Hi, my name is Charles Brewer and I'm very proudly the Group CEO for Post Malaysia. So question number one, why is global postal cooperation important to achieve our sustainability goals? So I think it's fairly obvious, but postal companies in general worldwide, and Post Malaysia is no different, we have a significant environmental impact due to our huge fleets, the largest in Malaysia by miles, and the number of buildings we have, and the number of people, and the number of packages we handle. So we have a really very, very large footprint, probably the largest in Malaysia, and clearly that has a direct impact on CO2 emissions. However, with the global cooperation among postal companies and things like the International Post Corporation Sustainability Measurement and Management Systems, or IPC SMMS, we have the potential to really move the needle in terms of achieving sustainability targets and collectively significantly reducing our environmental impact. Post Malaysia's purpose is that we are passionate about building trust to connect lives and businesses for a better tomorrow. And today's conversation probably really emphasizes around being better tomorrow. And postal services like Post Malaysia can ensure access to all and catalyze positive actions across a wide range of communities, acting as an essential player to the sustainable development agenda. Question two, what should be the biggest priority in terms of sustainability for the postal sector in the years to come? As a key player in the logistics industry, with an organization that employs more than 17,000 employees, Post Malaysia has a responsibility to uphold social values and contribute positively to the communities we serve. Also, strong governance practices are essential for ensuring transparency, accountability and ethical behaviour within the postal service organisations. Our current biggest priority is to expand our fleet to include 1,312 e-bikes and 493 very cool e-vans. Additionally, we plan to further expand our solar installations, reaching a total of 17 sites this year, whilst continuing to strive to be the largest and lighthouse example of green logistics providers in Malaysia. Question three, what would be your main message to other sectors which would like to embark on a similar road? I think in short, and if Post Malaysia can do it, by the way, I'm pretty sure that anyone can do it, but in short, just do it. Don't delay, start somewhere. It doesn't matter how small, start somewhere. Whether to follow the footsteps of peers from overseas or peers within your own country who have been longer at the sustainability journey. Set clear and achievable goals. Define your sustainability targets such as reducing carbon emissions or achieving net zero status. Having clear goals helps to focus efforts and measure progress. Lastly, and something that I've personally learnt as we've gone through our exciting, sometimes challenging journey, start with why. Why do you as an organisation want to take that organisation on a sustainability journey? It may sound obvious to you, it may sound obvious to us, but it may not be obvious to our frontliners. Make sure you spend the time, a lot of time, explaining the why and listening to their feedback. It'll make your journey that much better.